Today on RC Model Reviews, I'm going to take a look at a new product that was sent to me by FY Tech. There it is, the FY30A. Now this is a replacement for the FY20A, which is a, a, gy a gyro and accelerometer based stability system for RC models. And all I've got to do is find my way into the box. Excuse my messy desk because I've just been so busy having a chance to get the brush out. Now here we go. Here is the FY30A and it comes in this lovely clear box. And it's orange, so you can find it at the scene of the crash. Wonderful idea, thank you FY Tech. So much easier to find than the blue or the black ones. Now there you go. Bit of a close up here, see that? Here it is, it's all in all its glory. Um, inside, it's about the size of a receiver. Here's a, here's a, whoops, if I can move this around. Here's the FreeSky receiver. Here's the little unit. So it's about the same size as that FreeSky receiver, which is actually quite handy because now, I know Ali's done an unboxing of this little thing, by the way, just to show you. In the box here there are um, cables and mounting pads and all sorts of things. won't take those out of there, but um, Ali Shan Mao on his video showed the unboxing and he said he's going to put it in a plane, what's it, a Texan or something or other. It's, it's not a particularly unstable plane, so um, I don't know that that's a real test of a device like this. What we've got to do with a device like this is put it in something that's so wickedly unstable that you couldn't fly it without it. And enter the jetpack. And Ken, here we go, here's my jetpack. Um, those of you who watch my XJet channel will have seen the, X, uh, the, the jetpack before. I'll just change the camera angle so you can get a better view of that. That's right, those of you who are regular viewers to my channel will have seen, the my, my XJet channel will have seen the jetpack in all its glory and the fact that it is really, really hard to fly. Um, I've been getting better, I've had some decent hops in it, but it really is a handful to fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this box on the jetpack and it should give me stability beyond what I've got now. Excuse all the bits of hot glue, I, has to glue it back. I had to glue it back together after the last landing. So I'm going to mount this on here, wire it in as best I can to try and give me the stability I want and then we'll fly it. We'll see whether the FY30A really is an improvement on the FY20A and if it's really up to the job of handling wildly unstable craft like the jetpack. And for those who didn't know, on the jetpack at the moment I've just got a, whoops, it's pretty hard to handle this thing, I've got a whole lot of these GY401 um, Hobby King gyros to handle the, the roll and the yaw, so it's got four gyros on it, but that's not enough because these are simply rate gyros, you can't put them in heading hold mode, they drift too much, so having the accelerometers in this, whoops, a bit hard when I'm working backwards with the camera, having the accelerometer in this, I'm hoping that it will enable us to sit nice and steady in the air without me having to fight it all the time. So that's it. That's coming up soon on the RC Model Reviews channel. Um, while the weather is bad, I'm doing little bits and pieces like this so I can get it done. And as soon as the weather gets good, we'll be throwing the FPV project in the air and we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned to RC Model Reviews.